part of that bad press, Jeff, has been, you know, and not just Tesla, but other uh, car manufacturers, but sort of the redesign of the door handle, right? And at what points is there an argument that inebriated or not like a door handle design should be very so simple in function that you should be able to do it under any state, you know, like and not need to know the very specific uh, way to open a door from the inside if power is lost? Yeah, it's kind of mind blowing. I yeah. mean, door handles, man. I mean, really, this is not hard. This has been <laughs> one of the first things when they when the Henry Ford rolled one off the lines, like they had a door handle that was pretty straightforward to figure out. Yeah. This should not be hard. And this comes down to a lot of these lawsuits. Now, I think Tesla, I think they owe it to themselves to fight this one a little bit. I think it sends a very dangerous precedent when you start bowing to some of these things, even if it is, I understand the time and the resources involved with going to court and all of those things, but what's going to stop these from continuing if they're, if they don't kind of draw a line at some point? Yeah. I, I don't know. That's a, it's a tough line to walk and in, in how to balance some of that stuff out. I think it is worth noting that the Cybertruck, it does have a five star NHTSA rating for front and side crash, te crash testing. Mm -hmm. So to say that the design was off, you can, that's argumentative.